Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to be looking at use substitution, some basic examples. Again, use sub is kind of your first technique that you have accessible to you when the regular stuff doesn't work, algebra, uh, trig identities. So can you take the derivative of one part and get the other part is a question you should be asking yourself. And all that matters is the same number of x's to the same power when you derive. <clears throat> you don't care about the coefficients and stuff like that. When you assign u again, don't worry about square roots, exponents is in the denominator, uh, or both. So the steps again, we're going to assign u, derive both sides, solve for dx, plug in dx and u, cancel all the x's. If you don't cancel all the x's, you can't do u sub. This is very important. Okay. Uh, and then integrate problem in terms of u, plug back in what u equals. Alright, so let's look at these examples I've already looked at in the concept video. I'm just going to finish them up, up for you, if I can speak English here. <laughs> so, the next step after you assigned u, u is x squared plus 1 because the derivative of x squared plus 1 is an x term. So if I solve for dx, I get this, and some people will just solve by dividing by 2 and substituting for x dx, whatever makes you happy. I just prefer this method. And when I plug in, I get the x I did nothing with. This is my u, and it's on the bottom and cubed, so my u must also be on the bottom and cubed. What is dx equal? Well, dx equals du over 2x. And if you did everything according to plan, your x's should indeed cancel out and they do and what's left is one half comes out in front you bring this up to the top and this is a much easier integral than what you started out with would you not agree so now we can integrate their equivalent the integral so we have one half u to the negative three plus one over negative three plus one plus a constant don't forget those constants uh, and then you're going to get one half u to the negative two over negative two plus c, which then becomes a negative one fourth one over u squared plus c, and then u equals x squared plus one, so it'd be a negative one over four times x squared plus one squared plus c, and that would be your answer. Okay. So let u equal something, drive it, solve for dx, plug and chug, cancel your x's, integrate, and you're good to go. Let's look at this one here. This one here was a little bit more intricate in the fact that we had to factor out the 2 right there to make sure that what we had left was indeed going to cancel out. The x plus 2's will cancel out. So what we do now is, again, solve for dx. Hopefully you can see that there's no way you can derive x plus 2 and get the square root of all that, right? Because the derivative of x plus 2 is just 1. But the derivative of x squared plus 4x gave me these two terms. And when I factored out the 2, I did get the x plus 2 that I wanted. So then when I plug in, this is the x plus 2 from the problem. And then it's going to be the square root of u. And what is dx equal? du over 2 x plus 2. And again, if you did it correctly, all your x terms should cancel, and they do. So now we integrate u to the 1 half du with a 1 half brought out in front, and that becomes u to the 3 halves, and then 1 half times 2 thirds plus c. The 2's cancel. Plug back in what your u equals. What was u? x squared plus 4x, I believe. And we're done. Okay. I know I'm kind of doing these fast, but I want you to get a feel for these and see that there's a pattern pretty much to all of these that uh, you just follow the rhythm. Once you find that one part can equal the other when you drive it, just it's me mechanistic at that point. Just set them equal, drive, solve, plug in, cancel, integrate, plug back in. All right. So again, the rule was if you have one natural log in your problem, then you're going to let u equal uh, your exponent, or I'm sorry, your natural log, and uh, 
the derivative will always be that x that's in the denominator. So in this case, if I multiply by x on both sides, I get x du equals uh, dx. So when I have that, I have the integral of ln, which is my u, and it's on the top, not raised to anything. What is on the bottom that x that I did nothing with, and what does dx equal x du? And the x is cancel, and you're left with the integral of u du, and that's going to be uh, u squared over 2 plus c, and u was natural log of x. And there's that answer. Okay? And the rule for e's was if you have one e, let u equal the exponent of the e. And if you derive it and get what's left in the problem, then you can do u sub. And in this case, the derivative of 3x cubed is going to be an x squared term. And that's what I have in front. I don't care about the 9. So, solve for dx. Plug in. There's my x squared from the problem. And then it's e to the u, because that's where my 3x cubed was, was. It was an exponent of a u. So I need to put my u also as an exponent of u. Then plug in. Cancel. Factor out. If you remember, e to the u integral, e to the number u is e to the number u over the number. In this case, the number is 1. So it will be 1 ninth e to the 1 u over 1, which is just itself, plus c. And then u was 3x cubed, so it would be 1 ninth e to the 3x cubed plus c. Okay? So you can see how these are pretty straightforward. You can get a little bit more intense with some of these. And I'll show you some of those examples on the next video. So practice, practice, practice. Uh, and thank you. Have a nice day.